Today, Monster has sent me their Adventurer Force speaker to review, so without wasting any time, let's hop into it. Inside the very nice packaging, you'll find the speaker itself, a USB Type-C to C cable, the 3.5mm headphone cable, the manual and warranty card. On the back of the speaker itself, you'll find the I.O. flap, and once opening that, you'll have your Type-C to charge it, as well as your input from aux, USB, and micro SD. Moving to the top of the speaker, you have your buttons, the volume up and down, which you can also use to skip forwards and back, a pause play button, the power button, and the input mode button. It has a 4000 milliamp hour battery that can net you 40 hours at 50% volume and can quick charge to full in 3 hours. With its IPX7 waterproof rating, that means you can get over 3 feet of water for over half an hour. The two tweeters on the speaker are located in that center tube section, and the subs comprise the two cans on either side of it. Because of this setup, this speaker provides you with 360 sound as opposed to a single direction speaker. Some people may prefer this, some people may like a single direction better, it's mostly preference, I wouldn't say either is better. When it turns on, it'll automatically start pairing to any Bluetooth device and will quickly connect and reconnect to any device previously. Because of the Bluetooth 5.0, you get a strong, clear connection that will even go through multiple walls if you need to. I tested this by hooking it up to my TV and had no problems watching any sort of content with delay or distortion or any of that. And despite my TV actually having quite nice speakers for a TV, this was well better than anything they could do, in both bass and clarity. Speaking of the sound, you'll find this to be very clear as well as detailed, with a very reasonable amount of bass. It won't rumble your whole house or drown out any dialogue or anything like that. Switching to the volume, it gets quite loud, loud enough to bring outside to a group of people, maybe not a large party, but definitely enough for a group of a dozen or so in a backyard. But I will say at those higher volumes, it does start to distort the highs, especially they're really sharp and kind of jarring to the ears. So if you have something with a lot of snare into it, be careful about turning it all the way up. I have a few nitpicks here. First off, the volume up and down is an arrow that's pointing up and down as opposed to a plus and minus. But because of the 360 nature of the speaker, there's not necessarily a front. So the up and down can switch directions depending on which way you look at it so I would have preferred a plus and a minus to make it more clear but honestly it's not that big of a deal and second the size of the handle is a bit bigger than I think it needs to be especially with it not being a necessarily bulky and secure handle rather just a piece of plastic it doesn't feel cheap or like it's gonna break but it's bigger than it needs to be Moving over to price and how it compares to others, it's sitting at a nice $80 on Amazon. And at around that price, honestly, I can't see any that live up to this shape and performance as well as quality that you're insured by Monster. Sure, there are cheap no-name Amazon brand speakers you can get that are this size for this price, but say from JBL, the only thing you can get from this is a Charge 4, which is about half the size and me using it personally isn't nearly as, as impressive as this one. So you might be able to risk it on a slightly cheaper Amazon product, but honestly, this one stands on its own at its price point and quality. So I really do find this to be worth its price as a waterproof outdoor party speaker with that mic port. But if you have the extra cash to spend, take a look at its older brother, the Adventurer Max, that also comes with the microphone if you want a higher quality speaker and that microphone. So that's everything I have to say about the Monster Adventurer Force. If you enjoyed me not wasting your time here, please leave a like, and I'll leave you with a sound test between phone speakers, a smaller wireless speaker, the Adventurer Force, and the Adventurer Max. See you guys.